welcome to episode 16 of the One Wishes Knitting Podcast. I'm Kirsty. And I'm Tracy. This is our place on the internet where we talk about all the woolly things, knitting, spinning, crochet. Crochet. I've got quite a bit of crochet nice. today. And other fibre goodness. Yeah. So. Yeah. What a month. Yes. From now on, Nanny. <laughs> I love him. I love him so much. Oh. Yeah. You posted the pictures on Yeah, I will, I'll put a little picture <laughs> of him in his knitwear. But yeah, I did post a picture on yeah. uh, YouTube and that. I thought, oh, Hudson. baby Hudson, yeah. He's so scrummy. Oh. He's adorable. They're so lucky. He's um really good. Really good. So they've got it. Not not crying though, it's just no, being. No, he's literally so chilled out that it, well, I've never known a baby like it. I've never known a baby to, to be so chilled. Lovely. But yeah, they've got it easy, bless them. <laughs> Although it's hot, hot yeah. now, so I hope it's yeah. well keeping it cool. Yeah, I went around there the other day and he was just in a nappy, bless him. Yeah. But he's, he's just chilled out on his mat, no crying. I'm like, how have you not had him crying? Yeah. But if he wakes up from a long sleep, he literally just wakes up. And you wouldn't even know unless you go over and have a look. Or you'll see an arm go up or a leg go up. Oh, he's awake. He, oh, he's awake, yeah. So gorgeous. Yeah, he is. But I knew it's so strange. So you know, I always say about psychic um, that I'm, that I feel like I I have got this psychic in me, and uh, I wasn't. She was having the cesarean. Yeah. But I wasn't told when they were going in to have him, because um, they wanted it to be a surprise. I get the phone call. And there's a baby. Yeah. And anyway, I went shopping, and uh, on the way there, I literally come over, like I had tears strolling streaming down my face like of happiness yeah and i thought to myself oh, look i've got goosebumps again he's here and i thought i've got to go shopping and i'm like trying to wipe my face <laughs> i'm like he's here yeah and i came home to Shah, and i said to her he's here and she went is he and went well i don't know but he's here <laughs> yeah, <you just laughs> i'm like felt it. i know he's here Aww. half hour later i get the phone call and everything went here. well everything went oh she's doing amazing she oh, really yeah. is doing amazing but yeah everything went fine I was really worried about Callum because he doesn't like hospitals and things like that. And I was thinking, oh, is he going to be good for Kira? Yeah. Is he going to be good in that room? Well, it's hard, isn't it, for partners? Um, yeah. You know, when you're having babies. Because they don't know their first no. one. I mean, yeah. I, I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. Yeah. But no, they're doing brilliant. I'm well, I'm well proud of them all. Lovely. I can't wait to meet him. Yeah. I'll let him settle in. Obviously, they'll have had loads yeah. of visits. I mean, um, yeah, that's it. But she is... She's well, it's three, it's three weeks now, so but she's getting there. She's... Oh, congratulations! Thank you. <laughs> so lovely, so lovely. So it's been really hot here, oh, so hot. heat wave, and obviously, you know, classic British yeah. discussion of the weather. But yeah. it's um, so hot. Last night in my room, it was twenty nine, and yeah, trying to sleep. Yeah. So. If I'm a bit forgetful and everything, it's because I haven't Same. heard much sleep. And that's, that's my bags under my eyes. We had the fan on. I can't sleep. As much as I needed the fan on, I can't sleep with the fan on. Because I, I feel like I'm awake all night and I can hear it all night. Yeah. Even when I'm asleep, I feel like I can hear the fan and that's um, that I'm awake. But yeah, so I've got bags under my eyes. <laughs> and I've got hay fever as well. So I'm going to try not to sneeze and sniff. Yeah. But I've taken must, medication and It that. must be round here though, because I feel a bit sniffy. Do since you? I've come in, yeah. so I don't know. Oh, Zach's really bad at the minute yeah. as well. So, but yeah, hopefully he won't. Right, so I'm not really wearing any knitwear today, but I've got a bit of um, jewellery to talk about. This yeah. isn't in the notes. I'll take it off so I can show it close up. I made this a few years ago and it's like a little monster. That's brilliant. And I don't know if anyone remembers the rainbow scarf uh, shawl that I made with the hand spun before that I had oh, yeah. low hair with. That's the same yarn. And I embroidered a little eye and then covered it with a glass cabochon That's but like so a little clever. cyclops little monster to wear um as a I'd necklace. love to make something like that it's just fun because you can experiment with yeah with different things and what is the eye did you oh so i embroidered it on a bit of fabric and then i put the glass oh, wow. cabochon i used to do it with resin mm. but um it goes yellow yeah after a few yes. years so all the things i did with that right um so clever i love those and then i went to south sea to the beach yeah and collected a little pebble and then made this bracelet 
You're just so clever. Thank you. <laughs> Which I don't is, think of doing anything like that. It's quite easy. It's um, so there isn't a pattern, but it's I use lace weight linen, and I think a one point seven five hook. Right. Single crochet eight for the chain, and then I uh, done double crochet and chained two and skipped one. Um, single crochet so there's yeah. four of those around and then here I think I did two again and then I decreased it back down so it would have been chain one there but obviously right. depending on the size of pebble you might yeah. need to go out so you can say just do five it as you chains go. yeah and you keep putting the stone in yeah oh brilliant to see if it fits but yeah nice little black pebble and I thought a little memento yeah. from the beach nice like so that. it's the right word souvenir uh, yeah oh is it the same thing yeah I think might so be. Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I haven't got anything knit it's, on. Yeah, well, it's I, too hot. But I'll, I'm just going, shall I go into my first FA? Yes. Because I, it was too hot to wear it. Yeah. Um, Get thirsty already. I'll, I might put it on. Oh, wow. So, I don't know if I can show it. So this is my Stash Buster Granny Cardigan. Finally finished. Oh so nice it's so nice and i absolutely love it the way it turned out um the fit and everything so i was worried that it wouldn't fit oh that's perfect but yeah oh, i love the sleeves yeah so they've got like a balloon sleeve nice isn't it Beautiful. and it fits just perfectly i think my the thing's higher this time oh yeah nice length yeah yeah, yeah. I've got to take it off because it's so hot. Yeah, it's too hot. But uh, as usual, whenever I make a garment, so I block this, even though it's acrylic. So this is made out of uh, paint box, simply DK, yeah. the grey, and then Hayfield Spirit. Um, is that a self stripe in there? Yes. So, yeah. yeah, so what what the pattern calls for is anything like you just uh, scraps or... Yeah. But I thought... If I use this, then I haven't got to do loads of ends, keep changing the yarn and that. And I wanted to use it because it's my stash and I've had it for so long. Um, I'll put a picture up of the actual cardigan. Yeah. Uh, I'll keep going. Uh, and I'm going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, yeah, but I blocked it and I thought they were both acrylic. But this had, let me find it actually. How much? Is that a twenty percent wool? Okay. It bled. I was. I got it out, and I was like, I could see it straight away. I could see it in the water. Um, I got m a lot of it out. I mean, if you can see along the line, along. Do you know what? Not really because it could easily be part of this. Yeah. And there's some, like, on the, I'm, I'm so hard to see, because I did, literally, I was trying to get it out, so, but I've seen it in quite a few places. No one's going to notice. No. But, like, if you can see, like, across there, the blue bled yeah, into the grey. Yeah, you can see it better on camera. And some of it on the um, ribbon. I don't know whether you can see that. Some of the pink had come out but what temperature was the water it was cold cold right. is that what you're supposed to do yeah because i found sometimes i'll if i've made the water a bit too hot especially with sort of hand dyed things yeah. the dye will come out yeah it's no hotter. see i i normally just use cold and i did but yeah i was like no yeah. a lot of it did come out it's just around like obviously the edging you can see a bit of the pink no one's going to know. No. No, it's really subtle. So. But yeah, I love doing that and I'm so pleased that I finished it. That, I will knit a uh, ribbon next time. That took forever. <laughs> through the back loop, isn't it? Yeah. What is it? Single crochet through the back loop? Uh, yes. And then, but all the way around. It just, <laughs> it was, oh. It looks good though. But yeah. Yes, it does look good. Oh, perfect. But yes, yeah, I'm well happy with that. It's really soft as well yeah because it was a tiny bit small as well and i thought oh no it's acrylic it's not going to grow but obviously with the wool 
Pump which out. I didn't know. It uh, fits perfect. So yeah. That's so fun. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I said the colours, didn't I? I don't know. Uh, Hayfield Spirit. Oh, it's yeah. not a colour. It's 0407, but it will be in the show notes below. So yeah. I haven't got many FAs this time. Um, so obviously we've got the hands and feet cow yeah. going on. So this yarn, I actually <laughs> frogged a shawl, a little shawlette that I didn't wear anymore. Oh, right. And thought I'll use the yarn for some socks. I haven't blocked these, but I'll put it on the blocker to show. I believe this is Olan yarn that I actually got at the first unravel we went to oh right which is a yarn festival in um farnham yeah and yeah so just some vanilla socks and mm. uh, yeah olan i think it was something about gold but it was years and years ago so i, I yeah i wouldn't have thought it would you'd still be able to get it anyway but yeah so i nice. did um rounded toe fish lips Kiss Hill, which is just because it's just easy. Yeah. I don't have to think about yeah. it. I've got it memorised, but I've got to um, learn more. I did start doing a pair of socks from the first um, 52 Weeks of Socks book. Right. And I got past the Hill on one, and I just didn't want to. I just didn't want to do it anymore. It. And so I frogged it. And I, what I should have done is left it so at least I could show you the part that I've done. Yeah. And then frog it. But I was like, I don't want to do it. Yeah. Frog it. And I did the same yeah. with a pair of mittens as well. Yeah. And I made one mitten. It was a free pattern. And I didn't like the way it looked and frogged it. Yeah. So it's been a bit of a month of hard to get started on projects, actually. Yeah, I was, I've actually been the same. Mine's mainly socks. Mine's mainly yeah. socks. That's your favourite, though. It, it is my favourite. But also, I was just... I've been all over the place with baby and everything else. I was just like, I just need socks. Yeah. And I was thinking, well, we've got our um, cow, so yeah. I might as well just do some socks. Yeah, well, they, are, they are fun. I love I think this is where socks. I've got so many. I, I must have like 30 pairs of socks in the sock drawer yeah. already. So I think I thought I'd knit more mittens, but I didn't. Yeah. So no, I need to start some mittens. And there's the other one. Lovely. Oh, I hold it close so you can see. Yeah. You've got to love a vanilla sock. Yeah. Yeah, I've just got to keep making them anyway, and not feeling like I have to knit patterns into them or no. whatever. That they're, they're they're just nice for what they are. Yeah. Really relaxing. Yeah. Knit, and we've got a fun thing to show you um later as well, which is perfect for socks. So yeah. Brilliant. Just vanilla socks there. Nice. Right. Oh, I'll show you. I know we've showed these before, but I finally got a pair. So I'll finish those now. Love they those. are the Lempy Socks. Yes. Uh, by Rachel Coopy, and they're from the 52 Weeks of Socks, but they're the volume one, wasn't it? Yeah. The first one. But yeah, finally. Too hot to wear at the minute. These are such a fun knit. I will, I will make more of these yeah. ones. And so quick. You wouldn't think that yeah. they would be a I quick... think because you've got the different sections, you can stop. Yeah. Yeah. In between. But yeah, I'm going to... Um, these are ready for uh, winter because I can't wear these now because they were drip made out of drops of Nord. Which is got alpaca in, hasn't alpaca. it? Alpaca, yeah. yeah. I don't know whether you can see the... And then obviously the double thickness with the colour work. Yeah. But yeah, I love those. These as well, where you've got the different stretch because this ribbon bit is really stretchy. And then where it gets tighter is where your ankle gets slimmer. Yeah. And then this is stretchy as well. Yeah. So they, they're they lovely. Really they're clever really design. They're really nice. Yeah, I oh, will make more of these. You, you can do it, like loads of different things, couldn't you? Like yeah. even change the colours as you're going down. Yeah. Love it. But yeah, they were just out of Drops Nord. Um, that was light beige. Chestnut and off white. The colour work was off white. Yeah, gorgeous. But yeah, finally finished them. Happy with those. But yeah. like I say, socks. That's what I wanted to do. So get them finished. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I'm gonna have another drink. I'm already getting really, <laughs> I'm really so deep. 
my Oof. Frank Butcher voice coming out. <laughs> um, so another pair of socks. Now, back um, when I knit hats for Christmas, I did a one of the hats I made had a one by one rib that you change colour every row. Yeah. Every row. Yeah. And so I wanted to try it out on a pair of um, shorty socks. So I'll put it on there. Thing. So this is Drops Fable, um, yellow and blue. They don't have many colours of the uh, solid colours. But nice. I think I did something around 35 rows, um, changing colour every row. And then I did knit two rows, purl one row, knit two rows, purl one row. Um, knit two rows, purl one row, knit four yeah. rows, then the heel. And then I did a rounded toe again. Brilliant. I love the colours in those as well. I like this. Yeah. I that's thought that's fun. some way, yeah, to do something a bit different, but it's it's kind of still a vanilla sock, really. Yeah. Yeah. With just a little bit there. Yeah. And again, I didn't need to look at a pattern, so then I was sitting there and you can just relax. Yeah. With it. But I think I'll make some more of these and maybe with neon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'd be nice. So. No, that's really fun. I like that. I'll be able to enter them. Obviously, we can't win prizes for the cow, but I'll take no. pictures <laughs> and put them up now. Oh, you, you can have that back as well. Oh, top blogger. So, yeah, and that's, that's me done for finished uh, objects, got, actually. What have I got? I've got two more finished. Yeah, I should have worked on my vest from last time. There were so many things I should have worked on. Oh, yeah, I just my, could, I just, my salty air. Yeah. Tea. Yeah. I, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get that finished. No, 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 not done it. So, oh, this is cool. Yeah. Oh, so these are a pair of shorty vanillas, and I just done made that up as as I went along as well. Um, twelve rows of two by two ribbon. Then I done ten rows of stockinette, slip stitch heel, and then I love the slip stitch heel. So these these are for my mum. She want some trainer socks yeah so she keeps saying i need trainer socks but these were the well, this was one that i bought her to make oh the yarn yeah and i went to her house and she she had done the cuff of one she was like oh i can't be bothered i can't take a moment take a moment and finish <laughs> i was like i bought you those because you wanted to start knitting socks she said, oh I, I ain't got time to do that so i was like okay so i frogged it because we've got different tension yeah and uh started again but she'll be happy now and i think they match pretty well oh, yeah i just spotted that with the heels yeah they do match pretty well don't they i mean down the bottom there's a bit no they do i can't remember she didn't give me the um label it's a commercial yarn but i can't remember which one opal maybe or regia oh, i've got no idea I can't remember. No, I can't remember. That's the thing, though, isn't it? When you've got yarn, yeah. In st oh, I suppose obviously you gave it to your mum, but yeah, yarn in stash. Oh, I've still got some left as well, somewhere. I don't know where, but yeah. So she'll be happy now. She can have those. Again, nice, nice knit, and I've done those pretty quick actually. Oh yeah, this is it. Just you haven't yeah. got to think about it. No, I've had days though where I've like I've gone about three days with. Not without knitting. But yeah. <laughs> I've been really <laughs> It's been, where it's been too hot, it makes you feel sort of spaced yeah. out. I'm gonna have a drink. Yeah, getting well, thirsty. Sorry. Yeah, we'll just <laughs> we'll just have a drink quick. Any more FOs? Yeah, one more. Again. Oh Socks. these are fun. And these I made... are the ones you sent a picture to me of, yeah? Yes. Their pattern. Yeah. So these are Waves in Paradise. And they are by Jennifer... Is that Bewley? Yeah, Bewley, I think. Um, but I made the shorties. Um, just use it... What did I use? Fable? It does look like Drops Fable, yeah. Yes. They're grey. Drops Fable. And then I used... Um, my bird street i thought it was yeah advent but but i've got so much i've got so much left but look 
but it's perfect to have all the yeah oh i'm excited now because now i've done that i'm like i keep looking at things i'm like i can use that for that everything's going to be the similar colors but i love them so yeah. but these were really fun to make again you could remember the pattern didn't need to perfect i didn't need to look at it once i'd done one lock and that's what you want isn't it for yeah. some summer sock knitting yeah so it's just got a little lace wave wave uh was it one by one yeah and then in between you've got like the pearl pearl bumps and the slip stitch heel but i'm definitely going to make i want some i'm going to make the long ones of these as well and uh come on dog's crying Shah's not doing a very good job of looking after her. In the garden. But yeah, so I'm happy with those. Yeah, they're gorgeous. Another pair of socks finished. And that's it for my FOs. So we went, we both went full in to the socks. Socks, yeah. For our FOs. Yeah, well, the first, I did, I wanted to finish my cardigan. Yes. So I, that was all I worked on. I didn't pick up anything at the, um, after the last podcast. I thought, get that cardigan finished. Because it's been on uh, a year a year the day i finished it was a year that i started it because <laughs> it come up on my time hop thing i was like what so you started it in the summer yes so i suppose that's because why you remember, got i said oh yeah i'll use that i'll make it and then i can have it of the of an evening in the summer yeah no <laughs> for this really... year i meant for this year not, <laughs> not last year so. but it was too hot anyway wasn't yeah. it at the end yeah but it's nice to put on of an evening when i'm sat in the garden so yes finished and then socks, that's all I, well, I, that's not all because I've got whips. Yes. But finished wise. How I've, many whips have you got? I've got three. Did you want to go first or? Oh, actually I'll go because then I've got um, some hand spinning as well. Okay. Right, so it's my birthday coming up next week. And my father-in-law asked me what I wanted for my birthday. So I looked online and I typed in best, um, knitting books had no idea yeah and this one came out which is the is that the wrong way around the writing no it won't be oh okay <laughs> alternate rebellion by anna bauer and it's a book of um color work sort of recipes and it's like honestric a love story so it's you know about a sort of rebellion against knitting patterns that before you could only get the pattern if you bought the yarn right okay. so i think in the 70s people started rebelling oh, and really? coming up with their own sort of patterns and things for it oh wow and so i'll show you some of the things I'm like a cardigan oh. there and then it's got all charts in the back so it talks you through how to do it some of the patterns are written out yeah and some of them are based on sizing so they tell you how to measure yourself oh right and oh so there's like to try and cover up some of the details here but like this vest oh that's nice and then at the back of the book there's charts to i'll save that page because that's what i've been doing i want to show these mismatched gloves though where are they sorry Mismatch mittens. Oh, brilliant. So you can add different patterns and then you haven't got like that second sock syndrome. Yeah. Each one would be different, but yeah. using, you know, you can use the same colours. Perfect for scraps, That's like such with a the good idea. Burge thing. It's yeah. all sort of fingering weight. And then I'll give a quick flash charts at the back. So. And this was what I needed to say. Like I said, I've kind of lost my mojo yeah. a bit, casting things on, whipping them out, yeah. not wanting to work on any of the whips. So I got some Jamesons and Smith out of stash. Oh, I should show the thing on it. Hang on. <laughs> this, yeah, I've mainly been working on this. So where are we? Sorry. Da -da 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 -da. I'm not going to find it now. Here we go. So, the chicken wrap cowl. And you could either knit this as a tube and stick it or knit it flat. And I thought, do you know what? 
I don't fancy steaking no. a tube. I'm going to knit it flat, which obviously meant doing colour work um, in the pearl row as well. Yeah. Oh, I'm still connected to wool. Right. So I started here. Oh, blimey. And then some of these stitch patterns were from the book. Some were from other books. Yeah. Some I adjusted and some are mine. So this was from the book and this one. And then this was little swells and I made it sort of 22, 22. What's your number? 22. 20, 20. What, isn't it threes? With 33, but that, this is another thing that I was going to say. Sorry. But yeah. Anyway. Uh, when we went to Matilda, I said to my sister, my number's changed to 22. Yeah. I said, everywhere I'm looking is 22. And as I said it to her, we looked at the clock and it said 22, 22. Yeah. She was like, that's freaky. And then obviously there's a theatre show in London and we drove past and it's, it was called 222. And we were like, that's, she was like, that's freaky. Hudson was born on the 22nd. Oh, was he? Yeah. I was like, that's why oh, I was seeing 22. It's always been yeah, mine. mine. I think when I was a teenager, I started, obviously it's a clock, but it's one minute. Yeah. in the day to notice yes it. Yeah. um Evelyn's, mine's 11 11 as well yeah I Evelyn's is 11 yeah. 11 she said it's 11 11 make a wish yeah so this one was from the book and then I added these bits in between this was something I charted out these oh it's this oh, way round brilliant oh I've dropped those that's fine and I yeah. love that <laughs> and so I yeah loved it and that was from the alternate stitch yeah. dictionary which we've talked about before um that i just made up as i went along this was actually from a feral pattern book but i'll talk about these other books at another stage because it's That's nice i like that yeah one. but i <clears throat> it didn't fit into the so it's three repeats these were just sort of square things but i added um just some stripes at the edge so it would fit yeah because that's the other thing about the patterns not matching so they're saying don't worry about the stitch count just have the pattern finishing yeah. halfway across or you can add other things and then i did this which um like a highlighted flea pattern yeah, so which you know the soul don't know yeah so I, was about to say I love that. Yeah. that so i did that there then because it's going to wrap round where are we so we'll wrap around like this and then where are we i'll sew it to here yeah and then you add ribbing round so i came up with this little snail chart and i think i might duplicate that's brilliant. stitch um blue yeah on the shell and now i've just made i've got to actually write this down what i did here i just made it up as i was going along right. but i'm probably going to forget what i did so i should probably chart that so that's i think brilliant. i've got about Maybe seven centimetres left and then I can sew it together and do the ribbon. But that yeah. That is so much fun. All you it, can't get bored of that. No. You can't wait to start the next Oh, it was heaven <gasps> working on this. Because yeah, I could yeah. just do a sort of chart a day. Sorry if you can see all the hair and cat hair and everything. But yeah, a chart a day. I might duplicate stitch um the centres of these as well. Yeah. But I'll show the back because actually it's different than would normally happen with the colour work because I was having to purl. I do two-handed, yes. so then I was purling two-handed. But on the purling rows, when you've got to catch floats at points, I actually had to drop yarns right. and yeah. properly catch them on the... But it was so, so neat, fun. though. I loved the rhythm of it. Yeah. <gasps> so... That is... I can't recommend this book enough or just kind of sampler yeah type yeah. things this is my heavenly knitting yes yeah. i just yeah love it so much oh, i love that but i picked out what did it say it needed maybe 200 grams and so i just picked out some colors i already had them in stash because i've been um just buying gems with a smith yeah and stashing it for projects but yeah these little snails i was so, so happy i did um swatch with them first and then they looked a bit weird so i redid them but they're brilliant i love it i love the ants 
that's so cool yeah it, i thought is that too complicated because these were a lot of the other patterns were more simple so i could just it was an easier rhythm you know yeah and it was a bit more complicated but i thought i've got to yeah I've got to do no these. they've come out brilliant Love. but it's almost like they're on the grass going towards a picnic blanket yeah but yeah so Love it. i'll pick up sew it together pick up all the way around the edge and do a rib and then yeah. see i hate picking up stitches some people love it don't they i think it'll be okay along because it's stuck in that yeah but on a on garter yeah or neck necklines yeah yeah we'll see no how it, it turns be, it'll out be brilliant it's gonna be but amazing love that so much so i'm gonna as soon as i finish this i'm gonna cast on uh, another similar type thing you know like the one i made before that was uh just a tube yeah that was 120 yeah. stitches and i was looking through other books i've been really inspired and i've um obviously for my birthday coming up i went on world of books and yeah. ordered some secondhand books oh, i've got like seven different books coming so i'm excited about just yeah. taking no that's fun it's also I didn't know how it was going to turn out. No, I made the decision, and a lot of the things was depended on how much brain space I had of how complicated I wanted to do the next. Exactly that. That's that. That's that's the nice thing about it. If you want to do an easy one, then you just do an easy one. Yeah. If you're thinking, oh, today I've I've got the brain space, I'll do a complicated one. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Love and it. And I really loved the rhythm of the two-handed purling. It yeah. was. Yeah, it was nice. See, I still can't. I don't use. To, I drop. Yeah. So I'd be able to do oh, the pearl side. I could just drop anyway. But yeah, I drop. Always drop. Yeah. I can't hold it. Even I crochet in my other hand. So I hold the arm. It did take me a while to get the tension yeah. right in my left hand. It's weird that I do. I crochet. With, I hold the arm in my yeah. left hand for crochet, but I hold it in my right. So hand you can tension me. it. So you won't, it wouldn't have a problem with the tension, no. but still, yeah. It's just the... It is looser. And what did it say in this book? It said, always do the pattern with your left hand. So that... Actually, I should show again. I'll show you close up as well with this section. So the blue stitches are yeah. bigger than the orange stitches because my left hand is like continental style, is slightly looser. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. So if I'm doing plain rows that are just knitted i always make sure i use my right hand i've got it right way around <laughs> um yeah so that it doesn't because obviously color work is tight attention anyway isn't yeah. it so but i'd like to experiment with other things like on your bird street yarn cow it had cables slip yeah. stitch and obviously the tension change yeah the gauge yeah but you were able to still block it yes the same yeah so yeah no that's really fun i love so that so fun yeah really love that right uh what have i got now not that one so socks again this is my whips now oh, yes. so these are the grannies in a row socks by jen yard so as soon cool. as i saw her put these on and asked for test notes i didn't test it but no. i was like i am keeping an eye on those i cannot wait to make those and again i've used the bird suit yarn so look i'll show you i'll put it in there i've just... so these are the six colors that i used in the socks yeah and now for the granny squares in my socks. And I've still, and this is just six out of the 24 that I've got. So, so you much, think about yeah. how much, I mean, even something like that, doing different colour works and... How much was it? So what, 24 times 20? Did I, yes, 20, so yeah. Yeah, close to 500 yeah. grams of... Yeah, I'm loving it. But yeah, these were so fun. I've never, so you had, I shouldn't really give the, you had to join the grannies together first. So then you and had then, to work up. Yeah, and yeah. I've not done that. 
I mean, it goes on. I've tried it on and it goes on. So, and it's not too flary. What did I do? I done the, I think I'd done like a... Um, Provisional. No. Oh, what is it called? Tubular. Tubular. Yeah. Bind off. Yeah. Tubular bind off. Yeah. So, and I'm doing a... This is just me being lazy though. I done a uh, shadow wrap heel. Still my tension in my shadow wrap heel is not great. Can you see like the... So like a short row heel. Yeah, short row heel. So quick, so yeah. quick. But I've tried it on and it, and it's, and it fits so. I'm happy with that. Um, the second yarn is uh, Dragon Hill Studio, one of their self-striping. Can't remember the colour. I didn't write it down either. I'll, um, I'll find the colour and then I'll put it in the show notes yeah. or I'll put it on the screen. I can't remember what it is. It's like grey, creams and pinks. And I thought it just goes They're perfect. so cool. I've been seeing all the different ones Yeah. coming up. Well, so these many. ones I've just... I just didn't look at a pack, like, uh, they're supposed to be longer. Right. So I'm just doing a shorty. I'm just being lazy. <laughs> but I'm not, it's summer. It is hot. It's yeah. difficult. If I want to but... wear some socks and, but no. I, put, I do like Love shorty it. socks rather than the long socks anyway. Yeah. So, but yeah, they were so much fun. And I've got the, I've already done the other, the other six. Look how little <sighs> they are. I love them. That anyway, just the two colour. Yeah. What size hook did you use for those? A two point five hook, and yeah. then I'm using a two point two five for the sock. For the sock. See, I've been seeing these and thinking, wouldn't that be good to do round a hat as well? Yeah. Obviously, you'd have to yeah. work out what the, you know, do all the maths for it. Yeah. But, but I, I was when I was looking at, them, I was thinking, oh no, because you've got to pick obviously pick up the stitches of the crochet. You've got to join them first and then pick up stitches it was so simple so simple but i've absolutely loved such a clever idea isn't it it is that. it is and as soon as i saw them i thought yes i love granny squares and i love socks it's perfect and i saw her uh, davina keeps because every time um davina from little work from crafts yeah. she's been making them as well and she keeps saying the woolen wishes girls are gonna make them <laughs> bless her <laughs> Because every time she would put it on, I'd be like, yes, I'm making them. The pattern's coming out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so they're just fun. Brilliant. Right. You got anything else? Yes. So again, with experimenting and just wanting to play with things, I went on YouTube and then um, oh. was experimenting with Tunisian crochet. Yeah. So if you don't know, she knitting crochet, it's kind of like a, a mix between knitting and crochet because you kind of cast all the stitches on and then cast them off. Yes. Cast them on again. Yeah. And I've done it years ago, but I can't remember how. I have, um, yeah, made a little swatch yeah. and stuff before, but never really a project. No. Although I did do a stripe because, you know, you could do it on a small needle, a uh, small hook. Yeah. And you could just do it that wide. So I remember doing a little strip and attaching it to a blanket but you can do embroidery what? on it, so. Oh, wow. And I'll show you the back. Oh. So because, I'll see if I can get right up close. Yeah, you can see there. You have these, this is just Tunisian simple stitch, but you have these little legs that come down. So when I was um, embroidering, I was just threading it through and using those legs to catch the thread. That's brilliant. So wow. it's interesting, you know, what you can do with yeah. it. It does roll a lot. I had to block this. Um, and I did a normal crochet uh, around the outside. Yeah. I think I did this on a three millimeter hook with, this is Drops Fable again. Okay. Got loads of drops fable. Yeah. They had I it on kept, offer, didn't they? Yeah, I, I just, did. I, I went on and I was like, Wool Warehouse didn't have any, hardly any colours left. And I was like, no. So I just typed onto um, 
the internet drops fable to see if anyone else had it on offer and i can't remember the company now i'll write it down below because just in case it happens again and they were the same price as the wool warehouse and i was like color i was just getting well it's it's quite um affordable and well, great for 30 or 20 yeah or for 50 grams yeah. and Socks, yeah things like that but and i got some before brilliant. to um swatch yeah swatch with so i love that pattern yeah, I just... What does that remind me of? That reminds me of something. Argyle. It's yeah. like Argyle, yeah. isn't it, a bit? I think it is that pattern. That's so nice. But yeah. So I played around with that. And... Are you going to do anything with that? Or is that just, was that just... It was just, just to um, see, yeah. yeah, what you could do. Because yeah. I had the idea... Um, well, obviously, I, could, I saw that you could catch the legs like that. And I thought, oh, okay. So I'll just play. Yeah. And see what happens. That's brilliant um but then i started another project again this doesn't have a pattern but i thought well what can you do with chinese crochet so i had this i'll show the tag i'll take the one off midwinter yarns which is lithuanian linen 100 percent linen heavy lace light fingering 450 meters for 100 grams and I had these I've got put the color numbers underneath but I can't remember which one was which because I just took all the tags off that's so that's blue um a navy and got an off-white and just began experimenting so again you can see where I might lose some stitches probably have you yeah i think i have all that bit's got where it's been in the bag um yeah there we go oh good <laughs> it's okay because it's crochet you yeah, can just it back oh, anyway i've made that. a few mistakes so right i'll put unwind some of the yarn so we can actually have a look at it so i started down here and here you can see how much it rolls yeah and right. i actually started with one of those foundation single crochets as well so I'll need to do a border. Yeah. I also had difficulty with tension. Now I did this, so it's like a, it's a heavy lace and I used a four millimeter, this long, which is pony. Um, oh, right, yeah. And I was oh. really impressed. Look how flexible that cord is. So, you know, for knitting needles, I had some pony ones years and years ago and it wasn't very I think good. I've got some. So they might have improved. Improved their yeah really smooth I think yeah i pony. gave my mum some because i didn't get on with them but no but that, they've improved the cable that's definitely. better than um knit pro zing's cables yeah. and this was really smooth so it's worth checking yeah. out if you used them years ago and obviously these are it's like a double hook yeah see mine that i used is just a hook but it's long yeah i've got some like the old knitting needles yeah yeah, yeah. straight yeah, it's just a long crochet hook like that. Yeah, and which then is you, then... Yeah. What the... Oh, I've not seen them like that. But I will be getting some more. I did order some of the just flat ones in a few sizes, but obviously if you were doing a shawl or whatever... Yeah, you need... need to... So, yeah, I just um, played around again. So, it's all Tunisian simple stitch, and I alternated colours where you go across, and then I... Oh, so it started here. Yeah. Go across, and then I changed colour at the end here, and that gave you this sort of thing. And then I did kind of intarsia. I was just about to say, yeah, like intarsia. Here, so I just, oh, so I went along. Yeah. And then picked up the other yarn. And I think you didn't even need, even need to cross it on this. Or maybe I did. So every time I picked up a new yarn, I put the old yarn I was using over the top. Yeah. Of a new one. But you don't turn the work with this either. You go, so you're always at the front because you're just going forward and back across the front. Right. Which is nice. So that actually... The yarns don't get twisted round each other like they would with that yeah. knitting one where I should keep turning it. Yes. Every time you turn, they're twisting round yeah. each other. So I did another of the, where you change at one end, you work up and then change. And then here a bit more in Tardia. And then... You're the just too thing there. clever. I nearly swore there. <laughs> <laughs> you are just too clever. Do you know what? It's, I it's playing... 
it just I don't play I need a pattern and I need to read it and that's all I can do I can I wouldn't be able to sit there and just think oh I'm gonna do that I think that's what's exciting about it though is because I don't know how it's gonna look when it's finished so yeah. that spurs me on to go oh what am I gonna do next yeah and again it's how much I can be bothered so the next section I'm thinking I might do it um in the sort of teal yeah so that whole section and then do a square in the middle of it yeah so I'd need three I'd need two of the blue so I'd go across in the blue, then I'd have to change to the white and then blue again. Yeah. Um, in Intarja. But I just wanted to see what you could do. Originally, I was going to do different Tunisian crochet stitches and I started doing a different one and it just threw the tension. Right. Completely. Okay. So I was like, okay, I'll work with colour work. So. That's brilliant. But you can see how wobbly the edges are. That would be fine if you add... I think I'll do Add a, a border or something. Yeah, to... in normal crochet yeah. around the yeah. outside at the end. Obviously, it worked on the swatch. It evened that out. Yeah. So, But I don't It'll know if it's fine. me or... Because it's quite loose um, gauge as well. Oh, I love that. It's brilliant. Yeah, yeah that's good. It's then brilliant. you see the whole thing. And then, yeah, so up here, I'd, I'm doing these stripes. And that I change at the opposite end. Yeah. So they're just, you know, sort of one row stripes. But yeah, then I'll have a square in the middle. I could do triangles, but I think where it's all kind of yeah, just rectangles and squares, I'll keep it like that. But That's amazing. Where it's been hot working with the linen after working with the wool, yeah. really um yeah, easy nice. to work with. Yeah. But there's the back. I'll show you as well. Which is interesting because it doesn't so there's the front, you see the, sorry, the see stripe there, but when you turn it round, it's just normal yeah. stripes. So it's quite, you know, once I sew the ends in, it's and it kind of looks like pearl um, bumps on the back. Fun. Very You've been fun. doing fun. Yes. Well, that was it. I thought, I don't want to know how it's going to turn out. I don't want to, yeah. um, I don't want to be looking at a pattern. Yeah. I just want to relax and just little... Well, like you say, you've been, you were making things frogging it. Yeah. And it's because you weren't doing what you wanted to do. Yeah. And now... It's probably from the pressure of, because I said I'd knit some mittens. And I'm a bit, like, rebellious like that. So I think I was like, no. Yeah. I don't want I it. saw... <laughs> I can't remember who it was now. They tagged us on Instagram. You know I put the bean mittens up? Yes. She's made the cow. <laughs> An I actual cow. She, yeah, well, she... We should put in the pattern. Oh, oh, should we? Actually, we oh, haven't asked. What I might do, I'll message her today. If I get a reply, then I'll put it in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she actually put the pattern into her own cow, didn't yes. she? Yes, inserted the chart of the bee into it. And the mittens. Beautiful. And then I was like looking at my fable and I was like, I really must start some of those mittens. Because after seeing that, she was like, oh yeah, I saw the pattern on Wall and Wishes. And I thought... How have you made that all that already? Yeah. <laughs> made me look bad. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. But, but yeah, I do. I really want to make them. And seeing hers, I was like, I've got to start. Yeah, got there's start. actually lots of um, beautiful socks and oh, mitts and things. In I'm the, loving seeing it all. In the knit along. Yeah. Um, the hashtag on Instagram. So yeah. yeah, go and check it out. Loads of yeah. cool. I, I, I leave it a couple of days and then I'll go on and have a look and I'm like, what? Some people were really fast at knitting yeah. their socks and things. But yeah. So fun, some lovely colour work socks on there, Hellies. Oh, she's amazing. Yeah, you need to look at the hashtag. Yeah, because obviously if you look on Instagram, the hashtags, we have you to can ask see, to yeah, share the pictures. You can see the pictures, but yeah. Although stunning. at the end, we should do a run through maybe where you'll show, we'll show some uh, oh, yeah, could pictures do. when we announce the prizes. Yeah. But yeah. all the rules and everything, we've done a post on Instagram. Yeah. We can read all the um, information yeah there's not really any rules anyway is no there? not really it's hands hands and feet yeah. and if you someone asked if they could do ankle an uh, ankle warmers leg yeah, warmers yeah yeah fine. so it's if you think it's hands and feet it's hands and feet yeah you could do something that isn't hands and feet but it has something to do with hands and feet on it because i yeah. actually did think about <laughs> of putting hands in your <laughs> well i thought about embroidering so with the duplicate stitch doing some mittens yeah on the ants and then going there you go Hands yeah. and feet, cow. Yeah, that's but it. But this is it. I could have done colour work mittens. No, I'm instead I'm doing a whole doing long, a whole 
although it's because of the tension i i do magic loop and where the edges are the tension gets pulled really tight yeah on a smaller circumference so i did get some of those small circulars the knit throw ones but one of them slightly longer i've got one of those yeah and see I, I don't get on with it i didn't get on with it either no i don't get on with i don't get on with the one with the longer i think i rest my hands on the needles yeah and so not having that space on the really short tips to be able to rest my hands my hands get tired so quickly so yeah. i think it's double points yeah. if i want yeah see i don't like double points well, it's a little bit like you when you're knitting. There's yeah. all these sort of needles pointing towards yeah. your face. And if oh, you're I in the know car, that I'd put the wrong one out. And yeah, I've done that. I oh no, I like my little nine inch circulars. Yeah, they're my favourite. Well, yeah, perfect if you can if you can use them. Yeah, yeah. that's what I thought. If I could use that, it'd be so yeah. easy. But no. Right, you have been busy. But yeah, that's that's what I've been working on. That's my whips. I've still got. So I've got still got two more whips. So after last your our last podcast, and you made the granny. What's it called? Granny he stitch hexagon cardigan. Was yeah. that it? Was it just the hexy cardigan? I think it was called. Yeah, I've written it down wrong. Um, you don't have you done a link? Craft and craft and a cuppa. Craft right. and a cuppa. Yeah, it's in the show notes anyway. Um, obviously Shannon. I said I said she'd want one. So I got all excited. I said, oh, did you see Kirsty's cardigan? She was like, yeah. I said, do you want one? Yeah. And I was like, oh, right, let's choose colours. I just want plain. And I was like, what? Just one colour. So I was like, oh, I thought well, that's not going to be fun. So she chose the green. Uh, this is just Stylecraft. Uh, the colour, uh, Cypress, I think it was. Stylecraft DK, simply DK, whatever it's called. Special DK, isn't it? Yeah, special DK. So yeah, I've started her. So this is the first half. Now, you've made one. Yes. I'm make. Did you make the medium? Now I didn't actually follow the pattern. I watched the tutorial. Well, it's not a tutorial. It's a, a thing yes. you can work along. Yeah. Two hour video. Yes. And then I just kept kind of. Putting it on, putting and, it on trying. and trying it as I went. Yeah, see, I have, so she, for the medium, it says like a 23, it needs to be, it yes. says yeah. 23 inches from the circle, from the middle 23 to the centimetres. edge. 23 centimetres. Yeah. Which is, this I think is. I did about 25, 26, right. actually, thinking back now. I know I went bigger. Yeah. And I kept pinning it, but it depends how she wants it fit. I wanted it yeah. to be. Well, she wants, I think she wants it a bit fitted and cropped. Yeah. So I'm going to go with it. If it don't fit, then I'll just have it. Or with crochet, you can unpick it and I could just add on whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's the first half of the cardigan. I've watched I've watched the video through Yeah. as well. So I know roughly. Yeah, it's really... I think really... it'll be all right. Yeah, I'll put it, put it under your arm and I'll hold the top. Yeah, because I haven't seemed it yet. Right. Uh, well, you can do doing? straight arm. There you go. What if I go under? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'd, it'd be, be fine, fine, wouldn't it? Because you've got to add and this And then you add a panel. little bit. Yeah, you went this, the panel at the back. And you can always change it there. So if you need to take it wider. I so I took it more. to about here um, with that part. Right. So the, set, the back panel was, you know, quite wide. And then when you're doing the neck band. Yeah. You can then do build what, it up if you yeah. need. And I think mine ended up being about that much, I had to add. But I love that car. Yeah. I'm, knitting, I'm crocheting it thinking, I want hopefully that. she don't like it. <laughs> hopefully she's like, oh, I don't really like that one. But they've worked up so quick. I mean, I've started the um, second one already. Yeah, again, it's really once you, you oh, know, it's read so, the pattern or see. Yeah, it's lovely. Lovely, just sit there and crochet, don't have to think about it. No, but yeah, that's and it at first I was like, Oh, I don't think I've done it right because it don't lie flat. No, and then in the video, she's like, It don't lie flat. I was like, Okay, but yeah, but the good thing about one color is you haven't got all the ends. Yeah, I think it took me, I was yeah. weaving in ends for sort of like four hours. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that I did think that I was like, mm. But 
no I think it will look okay in one colour that's the style craft just one of those I need to go and get some more of these but yeah hopefully I think I'll work on this because it's mindless don't have to think about it for the next hopefully for the next podcast I always say that and then I... <laughs> well this is it you just don't know what you're going to fancy doing and depending on the heat and everything like this past week I couldn't have worked on this um Jamieson's and Smith one anyway no. because it's just been too hot yeah so the linen was perfect yeah um for that yeah have you got any, you haven't got anything else now um, not as far as knitting goes. I've got some spinning to show. Right, I've got one more whip. Shall I just show you my... Yeah, sorry, I'm just trying to tidy up. Uh, just start right? tidying up while I'm in. <laughs> 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 my projects are on the floor, so get some right. order. So, another mindless... I sound lazy this, this month, but I... Your mind's been to. elsewhere? Yeah stopping it and that's all I wanted to do so I've been working on my uh, sock head cowl by Kelly McClure um, so again mindless isn't they? free pattern I've shown one before uh, four inches of rib stocking it to whenever you want and then four inches of rib again that's gorgeous and this is in this is skein queen oh singles as well yeah so it's got this has got 10% linen in as well. It's uh, Georgia Peach by Skein Queen and it's 90% superwash merino and 10% linen. But it feels really, yeah, it's really nice. I Just love show it. Show close the little pops of um, teal in there as well. Yeah. But these are lovely. I've got my other one that I, I wear, what well, I wore most of the winter. Yeah. And autumn. So. I'll be happy with this one. I love the colours. Georgia Peach. I've actually been fancying that, maybe doing a muscle bra. Yeah. And I've I got, keep looking at that as well. I've got, got a, one. Yeah, a lot of 20 gram uh, hand spun for kind of stripe. Yeah. Just playing yeah. again. Yeah. So yeah, just been, although I, did, I had nearly finished this and I had seen that I dropped a stitch Oh no, that was it. So I was going to start the ribbon again and I I didn't have the right amount of stitches. <clears throat> so I was thinking, should I just add a stitch? And I thought, have, have a look. That's what Stephen West would have said, just add a stitch. Yeah, but I, I, I did have a look and I saw the stitch and it was quite far down. I thought, I can drop that down. Oh my God. Well, I put it on my Instagram. It was a mess. Oh, I haven't seen that. Yeah, I oh, did. I? I well, it was on a story. Yes, I, was like, I did. Yeah, that was a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? I couldn't fix it. I thought, oh, that's easy. Drop, drop down, pick up that stitch. But because I had dropped a stitch and then didn't have enough yarn, it was a complete mess. Because then I thought, oh no, I'm gonna have to drop another stitch down. Then it worked out that I needed to drop another stitch down. I was like, what have I done? In the end, I just frogged it all the way back. Started started having to knit it. Although again. you get to, I got you know, to do my stock on it again. Yeah, but yeah, but that that one will be finished soon as well, hopefully. Trying to get all these whips. Yeah, I think I've got so many. Yeah, the whips can get out of control, can't they? And then yeah, because next time there are a few whips that I'm probably just going to frog as well. That I've shown, but I thought I'll well I say that I'll, I'll wait and then I can show you what they are. But sometimes I just want to click. Yeah. You know, I want to clear things, so I'll just yeah. go, oh, I'll just wind that wall back up, put it back in stash. Yeah. I think that's it for my whips and echoes. Right, I've got something that's over here, actually, so. Oh, excuse the crinkling. So, I finished, I'll take that out. They're spinning for my mum's burgers fest ah finally and actually that's so nice it turned out quite well i don't know if the, the color's right today but it's got merino corridale bfl and nylon silk and recycled sari silk oh nice and it's 321 grams 640 meters worsted slash dk 
but that is going to be so nice there's plenty of yarn for the pattern it's over what i need for her size so i can get started on that as well while the weather cools a little bit that's going to be stunning that will suit your mum as well yeah i thought it's her color she wears yeah. a lot of sort of autumnal yeah things and yeah although this was quite slow going and because it was uh had different textures in it and i was feeling it slightly thicker i was aiming for it to be slightly thicker than i normally do i i didn't have the muscle memory of knowing what i was doing yeah. so it it took longer than i expected it to just because of that and then every time i started spinning again i would put it against my little um yarn gauge yeah and wraps per inch thing and be like oh it's too thick and it would take me sort of half an hour to get back into the rhythm of yeah. how thin it was supposed to be. Kept going too thick, too thick. So it's not consistent, but it will, you won't notice no. in the and final it's done. thing. Yes. It's done. That frees up my will for yeah. some other things. So Monday, I dyed up some, I looked through my stash and I had, I think it was 300 grams of 18.5 micron merino so i divided it up into small amounts and dyed it up oh wow got that one it's about that's about 30 grams the peachy nice mustard yellow oh that's nice apple green um, you dyed all this yeah yeah and actually uh, i'm quite impatient sometimes with dyeing and i felt I felt wool slightly quite a lot because I don't wait for it to completely cool down before rinsing it out. Yeah. But this time I did. <laughs> so I was quite happy that I didn't felt it. Although I'm going to card these anyway. Oh, that one's nice. Yeah, what was that? Um, I think it was sort of the green and then I put a bit of black in. That's really nice. I like that. This one. And I used landscape dyes from Wing and Wool. That's really nice as well. That's like an amethyst one. Sorry, I'm just like passing the one for you. Right. That one. And then I did 50 grams of, it was supposed to be black, it kind of looking a bit charcoal. But again, I'm going to card them into, uh, on the blending board, into Rolex. Yeah. And then I've got 50 grams of white as well, so just the undyed. And I already spun that up, so. I was aiming for a fingering weight. I think I've got it. I haven't measured this. I haven't washed oh, it. That's so nice. But that's just the first 25 grams of the white. Yeah. Um, but I thought I'd use them for colour work. Yeah. But the only thing is it bleeding into each other. So what I'm going to do mm. is when I've spun it all, I'll wash the yarn and I'm going to wash it all together. Right. So that if some of the... Everything run clear anyway, apart from the black and the blue were a little right. bit. But I was thinking I'd rather it was in the it was already it was all all together. Yeah. It was already bleeding. Yeah. Before I because then it will be evenly. Yeah. Before I make a project and then it bleed into each other. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm hoping it will be all right, but sometimes that's the problem with using a light colour with anything that's. Yeah. Well, yours was commercially dyed and it still happened, so yeah. it doesn't. It doesn't stop yeah. regardless. No. But I don't know if these colours will go together for colour work, but I'm going to use them all together You anyway. know they will. I'm not sure if the... Um, yeah, if they'll go, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. For another colour work yeah. thing like those. But I've got to spin it all first, so I thought, throughout the summer. Or I might do... The Tour de Fleece, which is coming up next month. Oh, right, yeah. Although I've I won't join a team, I'll just spin. Yeah. I'll just make this my aim. You to... do that. You've done that before, haven't you? Not joined a team. No, you don't join a team, but no. you just... I just spin and yeah. see, like my own little challenge to yeah. see how much I can get done. But I dyed those Monday and then they were dry the next day. That's the good thing about this weather. Yeah. With blocking and things, isn't it? It's overnight. Yeah. Actually, I should get out the rainbow shawl because I still haven't blocked it. Oh, really? So it would be the weather to yeah, do it. Yeah, perfect weather to do it. Now, um, yeah, so that was, that was fun. 
although it's not my it's not, not my favorite to spin um merino oh, especially really? not um 18.5 because the lower the micro one the sort of softer it is right and that's why i carded it uh, made the rolex as well so it's a bit more grippy as you're spinning it right but it's so soft that anyone well i think anyone could wear yeah wear that normally i think the stuff i use is about 25 micron so it's right. sort of, yeah you know like shetland wool and stuff yeah do you know what i'm having a heart attack thinking that we didn't check this time whether it's we'll be fine well should we check now and we can move stuff and then we'll come back and talk about acquisitions and things like that yep okay so acquisitions yeah yep I was looking on Instagram and I think Jo from Moonlight Fiber on her stories had this really cool thing um, by Dear, Dear Designs, which is a knitting yarn Jane. holder that you can carry around with you. And <laughs> I ordered it and then you, you posted up that yours had just arrived. Yeah. So you'd obviously ordered one did we get the same one as well the skull one yeah, yeah. that's it mad says, knit fast die warm but what a good idea yes i mean i saw quite a few people had bought it after yeah keep well. calm and carry yarn so this slides through there and then you pop your yarn on pop your wrist what is it called? A wrist, wrist band? Wrist, wrist strap. strap. And then you can just walk along. Oh, there's your end. Knitting. Yeah. yeah, and it just turns. I mean, mine, yeah. How, we need these yeah. for yarn shows when we're yeah. going walking around. Well, like I said, I thought socks, walking around in the summer. Yeah. It just turned in and it came with an extra loop on the strap there. I put some stitch markers. Oh, what a good idea! Because with the fish lips kiss heel, yeah. you put a couple of stitch markers in. Yeah. Or if you're counting, sometimes you do the ten to do ten rows. Put a stitch marker. Do oh, ten rows with your with the heel flap as well. Yeah. You put the stitch marker yeah. in the beginning of the round. And I so love you can just how clever. Yeah. I'm well, as soon as I saw him, I was like, oh, I need one of those. Yes. Yeah. But that's hilarious. Again, you. Yeah, I did. We, you straight away messaged me and went, I've just ordered one yeah. of those. What? <laughs> I ordered it this morning, I think you posted it up in the afternoon. That I'd got it, yeah. But yeah, she does different designs as well. Like these are the skull ones. I can't remember what other ones she had now. No, this is, like, this is the one I wanted yeah, to get. Yeah, what a good idea. So we've linked that Sam Denise, dear yeah. designs. Go to, go check her out. She's got some fun um, laser stuff yeah. as well. So, like the stitch markers and things like that that she's just started doing so definitely go and uh check her out but how uh, love it that's that's gonna be so easy i can't wait although i might yeah see that it doesn't just have to be for socks you could do with could like your uh what's it a cow yeah I, my brain today yeah um anything what's... it's just annoying me because what's it called the cow you just showed Sock head. Oh, the sock so head. Yeah. Sock head yeah. cow. Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> Don't yeah. ask me questions. <laughs> I'm hot and I can't think straight. <laughs> At least it's both of us. Yeah. But yeah, very cool. So. What else did? Have well, but I've, yeah, yet? before I um before we started recording, Tracy said she's got me some yarn for my birthday. Do they want it now, or on the podcast? And I thought I'll have it now and then show you. So I've only just. Got it. Oh, where have I put it? <laughs> <laughs> right. So. Oh, no. oh, sorry. I didn't even apologise for the crinkling. Try and be. So this is Moonlight Medley Jubilee Yarn. 440 metres. So 200 grams. 200 grams wow. 50% yeah. wool, 50% acrylic. And it's like a fade. Yeah. Ombre. Nice. I love these purples i've got to be careful with what purples if it's a bright purple it washes me out yeah this is my favorite um 
uh, for what? So what? Or oh, you forty meters. What what is that for? That it's a DK, is it or? A... It's a DK. I think. DK. Yeah. Perfect. So is that cancer the colourway? Yes, they yeah. were all um like birthday birth birthday months. Yeah. Gorgeous and. Oh, Virgo, Virgo that this one. one. Yeah. Oh, okay, star signs. Yeah, star signs. Uh, greens going into blues. Oh, what's in there? There we go, try and get the light yeah. not reflecting there. So thank you. That's okay. I don't know what I'll do with these. Yeah, maybe something crochet. Yeah. Exciting. Something oh. I can play around with, yeah, come up exactly. with something. Exactly. Right. Uh, oh, so I ordered from uh, Giddy Yarn, Helen. Uh, every time she puts her self striping up, I always miss it. And it's out, it goes out of stock straight away. But this time she was doing um, pre-orders. So I was like, oh, get straight on there. But luckily the ones that I wanted were not pre-orders, she had them. Oh, so perfect. I'll get them out. Why can't I get them out? So they're sock sets. And they are, so this one's a self striping and then you've got the contrast colour. This one is Cherry Blossom. The colourway. That's gorgeous with the pink and the minty green. Oh, that one hasn't got the colour, but it just goes with it, obviously. But yeah, I, you know what? I I like myself striping the socks or mittens. Yes. I could even do mittens, couldn't I? With these. So yeah, got that one and. Really nice summery colours as well. Yeah. And that's it. Are they 50 grams? These are 70, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. No, they are 50 and then 20. So, so perfect, perfect amount. Perfect yeah. amount, yeah. And this one is Spring Fling. Oh, I love that. That's fun. Yeah. That's really sort of beach yeah. colours. Yeah. So nice. Oh, why have I only just noticed your nails? My nails? That's so fun. How have you been showing stuff the whole time? Because obviously you've normally got purple Yeah, nails. I changed it because I was like, oh, summer's coming in. Get the orange. Because I always tan so quickly in the yeah. summer. So orange goes quite nice with... So fun. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm like with my nails. I like to have my nails done. Yeah. But yeah, I always go purple, don't I? Or I go black, multi like I have black and silver, or but no, I chose nice bright orange. Nice bright orange. So yeah, um, Giddy Yarns. I'll link them below. She's often at the wall shows, I think. Have I seen Giddy Yarns? I think the name does. Um. I think we saw her at the summer, summer. one that was up yes. miles away. And yes, free I think so. It was a couple of hours away, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't think we're doing that one this time, are we? No. So that's the end of July, I think. Yeah. But yeah, so we'll chuff with those. More that'll socks or mittens or something. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. Right. What now? The cow. Should we just... Yes, so... We've been donated loads of prizes for the knit along, so we thought we'd, we'd run just, through yeah. some of the some of the prizes. Yeah, so generous. So that it was those two, wasn't it? Yes, um, yes. So Ruth from Leaf, Ruth Loves to Knit podcast sent us these. So we have this one, which is Fifth Sugar Yarns and Superwash BFL Nylon 8020 fingering. Beautiful. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Love those so colours. Nice. 
and then hedgerow yarns, hand dyed and hand painted hedgerow yarns, merino nylon, 365 meters and 20 gram mini. So nice. So thank you, Ruth. But she also said, um, thought because it will finish at the end of September, I say, we will draw prizes on the 30th of September and be going we thought into going into autumn, autumn so yeah. like those colours would be perfect that's so lovely yeah makes you want to keep them <laughs> oh that's the only <laughs> so thing hard, isn't it? opening up the when yeah. they come through you're just like what <laughs> we've got to give these fun. away like, <laughs> yeah gorgeous so nice thank you Ruth um also Shannon from Blue Fern Yarns kindly gifted us this sock set. Now this was her, one of her, she does like the monthly palette. Sock set. Sock set. Um, this is Hawthorne. Look how That's nice. gorgeous. That's me. <laughs> Those colours are me. <laughs> but yeah. So thank you, Shannon. Shannon also does lovely sort of palette clubs. I was yeah. looking, I think there's like a, she puts up pictures. That's what I've done what last year. Thing. Yeah. yeah. I've got all of those from last year. I love them. Still got to find something to do with them, but yeah. I just like looking at them. So, but yeah, so it's thank gorgeous. you, Shannon. Thank you. We love that. Uh... Oh. Was there one more? That, wasn't it? Yeah. So the lovely Joe from Moonlight Fiber. Put these. So I'll do it one at a time. Can you show? So nice. And that's a. Uh, uh, so the colorway is Starburst, and it is seventy five percent superwash merino, twenty five percent nylon. So is that five twenty gram? Yeah, hundred grams. Perfect for Look at those colours. colour work or striping, like those yeah. socks you just showed. Yeah. Sorry, my stomach's rumbling. <laughs> it's really loud. Don't point it out. It was really loud. It's already <laughs> happened a couple of times. But yeah, lovely. This is the um, Chasing Sunsets. Oh. oh, look at that. And this is Nebula. <sighs> so They're gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. So, so kind. Nice. Thank you, Joe. Gorgeous. Thank you, Jo. Um, and then, obviously, we showed these ones last time. So that was the woolly, woolly back. Can't open it. I showed them last time. Then you can see those. I think one was a DK and a uh, mini. Yeah. That's the D, the green is the DK, and then you've got a mini so, set. So that is the woolly back. So thank you so much. So many um, amazing prizes. And we already. also um, so lovely. So go and check all those people out because obviously yeah. donated prizes and on the wall. Twin and pal. Bex Creates and Nancy Wheeler have also are also going to donate patterns for the prizes. So we've got loads of prizes to give away. Exciting. So please enter. That's uh, we'll put it? the hashtag. Yeah, put the hashtag there. <laughs> and if you don't have you know knit hands or socks, you don't want to enter. Still, um, check out all the yeah, check um, out posts. everyone's yeah posts. But we, yeah, we got an email, didn't we? So someone's put one. Yeah, we posted that up. So, so you, you don't have gone, to go on Instagram. You can just... We posted it on ours, didn't we? Send them to our Instagram, and uh, to our email, and then we'll put them on Instagram for when we draw the prize. So, yeah, I think that... Um, I wanted to mention, so podcast has only got one to mention this time, which is Fatima from Fiber Nuts. Yeah. Newfoundland is where she lives, and it's beautiful there. Put, she puts up footage her, I think her husband does the uh, films oh right yeah and everything they had an iceberg going past the other day oh nice on there but beautiful knitting lots of colour work and she's a spinner as well oh, so right. 
really um, gorgeous work. She also records it twice, once in English and in Portuguese. Oh, wow. So if that's your first language, or you just speak Portuguese, yeah. or if you're learning Portuguese and you wanted to oh, watch wow. both. So, yeah. That's amazing, having to do it twice. Yeah, I think because that's her first language, obviously yeah. being able to... Yeah. Um. Oh, that's brilliant. So, yeah, you check her out as well. I don't think I've... I'm not sure. I might Fiber have. nuts, yeah. I'll have to have a look. Check her out. Yeah. Right, I think that is it. Yeah. I feel like we've flown, flown through, through that. Flown through it, yeah. Like we said, where it's hot and we haven't been getting much sleep, no. um, yeah, our brains aren't working properly. No. But I hope it's been all right for everybody. And I hope you're all staying safe wherever you are in the world. I know there's a lot of different things going on yeah. at the moment. So I hope wherever you are, you're staying safe. And you have a lovely time until we yeah, yeah, see you next know. time. Doing probably another... About the same sort of time. Three, four weeks. Yeah. So thank you. Take care. Happy knitting. Bye. Bye.